What is mesothelioma? Mesothelioma is a very rare type of cancer that can affect the thin membrane lining of different organs in the body, most commonly the lungs, but the chest, abdomen or heart may also be involved. This thin membrane is known as the pleura. These tumors can be non-cancerous, benign, or cancerous, malignant. Benign mesotheliomas are usually removed by surgery and don't require further treatment. Malignant mesothelioma is often caused by exposure to asbestos, a mineral from rocks and soil and used prior to the 1970s in industry and manufacturing. Exposure results in an aggressive and usually deadly form of cancer where cells making up these tissues grow out of control. In the United States, about 3,000 new cases of mesothelioma are diagnosed each year. Standard and accepted mesothelioma treatment guidelines are not available. Treatment should be individualized based on symptoms, stage at presentation, and outcome goals. The following review primarily focuses on malignant pleural mesothelioma, MPM. However, there are three conditions that may occur due to asbestos exposure. Lung cancer mesothelioma, a rare cancer found in the thin lining of the lung, chest, abdomen and heart asbestosis, a serious progressive, long-term, non-cancerous disease of the lungs. What is asbestos? Because of its fiber strength and heat resistance, asbestos was used in a variety of building construction materials for insulation and as a fire retardant. The federal government began regulating the use of asbestos in asbestos products in the 1970s. Today, asbestos handling is strictly regulated, however, in general, it's safe to be around asbestos as long as the fibers are contained. This prevents them from getting airborne and into the lungs, which leads to disease. Top 10 Facts About Mesothelioma There is no cure for mesothelioma, but treatment can lessen symptoms. Pleural mesothelioma, in the lungs, usually occurs in people older than 50 years of age. Malignant pleural mesothelioma is the most common form and is responsible for about 80% of all new mesothelioma cases. Pleural mesothelioma symptoms can include a cough, shortness of breath, dyspnea, chest pain, fatigue, and weakness. Testing for mesothelioma may involve a chest x-ray, breathing tests, a bronchoscopy, inserting a thin tube to look down your airways, or a lung biopsy, a piece of tissue may be taken to examine if your doctor suspects the pleural type. Other types of mesothelioma tests may be used, too. Mesothelioma treatment options may involve surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy, cancer drugs. How do I pronounce mesothelioma? Mesotheloma. New cases of mesothelioma increased from the 1970s to the 1990s, but the incidence has leveled off since then. The incidence of mesothelioma is more frequently seen in Caucasians and Hispanics slash Latinos than in African Americans or Asian Americans. The average age at diagnosis is roughly 70 years. Men, due to workplace exposure, historically were at a greater risk of developing this disease than women. Mesothelioma rates are very low in the United States with only about 3,000 new cases annually. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, also lists statistical mortality data for mesothelioma, 1999-2015. Mesothelioma Types There are four different types of mesothelioma. The early symptoms are tied with disease progression. Symptoms can be caused by pain from nerve irritation or fluid buildup. Usually, by the time a patient presents with symptoms, the disease is in a more advanced stage. Pleural mesothelioma, lung, the most common area where malignant mesothelioma occurs is in the lungs, chest cavity and the pleural membrane surrounding the chest cavity, this is known as pleural mesothelioma. Peritoneal mesothelioma, peritoneal mesothelioma cancer can occur in the abdomen and stomach area and may spread to other nearby organs such as the liver, spleen, and intestines. Pericardial mesothelioma, if the disease occurs in the lining of the heart, called the pericardium, this can lead to pericardial mesothelioma. This type is very uncommon and only occurs in about 1 out of every 100 cases, equal to 1% of all cases. Testicular mesothelioma, 
Testicular mesothelioma is the most rare form, and occurs in the testicle lining known as tunica vaginalis. In fact, only about 100 cases total have been diagnosed around the world. Little is known about the testicular form, what causes it, or how to treat it. Mesothelioma Symptoms Frequent symptoms of pleural mesothelioma include Shortness of breath, dyspnea Cough Fatigue Weight loss Fluid accumulation between the lungs and chest, known as mesothelioma pleural effusion Peritoneal mesothelioma symptoms can include Severe abdominal pain Swelling due to fluid accumulation Common symptoms of pericardial mesothelioma include Chest pain Shortness of breath Mesothelioma cell types Mesothelioma types are classified based upon the type of cells that makes up the cancer. Roughly 50% are malignant epithelioid mesothelioma, epithelial cells, which has a better prognosis, outlook, than other cell types. Only about 10% are malignant sarcomatoid mesothelioma, fibrous. The remaining can be mixed, known as biphasic mesothelioma, meaning the cancer has characteristics of both epithelioid and sarcomatoid cell types. What causes mesothelioma? Mesothelioma is almost always caused by having worked in an industry or being in areas where asbestos, a type of mineral, has been present in the air and inhaled. Most people who get this disease today are diagnosed between the ages of 50 and 70, and may have had exposure to asbestos in the past. How do you get asbestos mesothelioma? Asbestos exposure prior to 1970 resulted from industrial products such as Insulation Ceiling tiles Automobile brake linings Cement Fireproofing materials Flooring tiles Asbestos fibers are useful in industry because they are strong, heat-resistant, chemically resistant, and do not conduct electricity. People working in industries such as shipbuilding or automotive, particularly prior to the 1970s, were at greater risk. Family members were also at risk due to inhaling particles if workers brought asbestos home on their clothing. Typically. It can take 20 to 30 years to develop this condition after inhaling the fiber particles. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, most uses of asbestos in the U.S. are not banned, only a few are banned under existing regulations. In general, exposure may occur only when the asbestos-containing material is disturbed or damaged in some way to release particles and fibers into the air. However, Asbestos fibers may be released into the air by the disturbance of asbestos-containing material during product use, demolition work, building or home maintenance, repair, and remodeling. As published by the EPA, other products where asbestos may be found include Attic and wall insulation containing vermiculite Vinyl floor tiles and the backing on vinyl sheet flooring and adhesives Roofing and siding shingles Textured paint and patching compounds used on wall and ceilings. Walls and floors around wood burning stoves protected with asbestos paper, millboard, or cement sheets. Hot water and steam pipes coated with asbestos material or covered with an asbestos blanket or tape. Oil and coal furnaces and door gaskets with asbestos insulation. Heat resistant fabrics. Automobile clutches and brakes. Older homes or other buildings may still contain asbestos. Testing may be required to determine if asbestos is present in older buildings, especially if remodeling or other construction occurs. If it is found, it will need to be sealed off and removed with special procedures by a certified company. Asbestos abatement workers are trained to properly use protective equipment to minimize exposure. Causes of mesothelioma other than asbestos. Irionite. Another mineral fiber, is a non-asbestos cause that leads to this condition in regions such as Turkey where exposure is highly prevalent. Irradiation Carbon nanotubes Certain viruses Mesothelioma risk factors A history of asbestos exposure greatly increases your asbestosis and mesothelioma risk factors. People who either live or work in buildings with asbestos-containing materials that are either under reconstruction or deteriorating are at a greater than normal risk. 
workers at risk may include miners, construction workers, shipyard workers, aircraft and auto mechanics, boiler operators, building construction workers, electricians, railroad workers, workers removing asbestos insulation around steam pipes in older buildings. Living with someone who is exposed to asbestos can increase a family's risk due to passive inhalation if they bring it home on clothes. Those who smoke and are exposed to asbestos have an even higher risk of developing lung cancer and mesothelioma. However, this disease has no direct association with smoking like lung cancer. Mesothelioma Diagnosis and Testing A diagnosis of mesothelioma will involve several mesothelioma tests because symptoms can be caused by other medical conditions, including other cancers. These tests might include Imaging tests, examples include a chest X-ray, CT scan, PET scan or an MRI. These tests will create images of your lungs or other areas where this condition is suspected. These studies help to locate and determine the size of any tumors. Electrocardiogram, ECG, to check your heart's rhythm. Bronchoscopy. Your doctor will insert a bronchoscope into your airways to examine your airways. Spirometry, a test to check your breathing and lung function. You breath into tube for this test. Thoracentesis, your doctor may use a thin needle to remove excess fluid from your chest or abdomen. The fluid sample may be analyzed. Removing fluid can help relieve chest pain and shortness of breath. Mesothelioma biopsy. A small sample of tissue is removed from the space around the lung, or other area where disease is suspected, and it is examined. This is usually the gold standard for diagnosis of mesothelioma. Mesothelioma staging There are four mesothelioma stages with pleural mesothelioma. Determining the stage will allow the doctor to determine the tumor size and placement, progression, and help to guide the choice of therapy. Stage 1 is considered localized disease, while stages 2, 3 and 4 are considered advanced mesothelioma. Initial staging will identify patients who are not candidates for surgery, and who may receive palliative therapy and drug treatment to lessen symptoms. Stages of mesothelioma are based on the recommendations of the International Mesothelioma Interest Group. Mesothelioma Treatment There are three approaches to treatment for mesothelioma surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy.